My name's Nate, this is Shoot Fist Productions, and today's video is all about this G10 BB repeating air pistol. And we're going to give it a power test, explain a little bit about it, and answer the question why the hell would you want one? To find out, keep watching. Right, we're just going to take the camera down to the table and we'll show you all the details on the G10 air pistol. This is the Sports Marketing G10 repeating air pistol. This uh, shoots BBs mainly. It will shoot 177 pellets as well. Holds 18 shots. Um, I bought this over 30 years ago. That's the first gun I ever bought. So that's um, a bit reminiscent for me as well. And this one is a Sports Marketing brand, but they do make these. They still make them under all different names. So this is a sort of old school one, really good quality. I'm not sure on the quality of the more modern one. So I'll just give you, a, this is all the original box, which I'm quite happy with. And if we get it out, here is the actual gun, all, all metal. Um, the only thing that's plastic is the barrel piece here, which I'll show you in a second. And in the box, this is um, a speed loader, which is basically it's made of soft rubber. You take that cap off, fill it up with your BBs, and you sort of squeeze these two bits, put it in, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. That was an extra I had to buy, it was actually quite expensive at the time. And in the box is the actual original hot print instructions. And not only that, there's a diagram and instructions on how to take it apart and replace parts and fix it. And you don't really get that with modern stuff now. And I think the reason is they don't want you to fix stuff. There's all this suing culture and liability. So that's a shame really, but um, that's old school, over 30 years old, so, and the gun is still working in good, perfect order. So, now, to load it and cock it and what have you, this back piece, um, if you press that forward, there's a release catch on the other side, that flicks back. Now, to operate the safety, that has got to be pushed in, and that's just a cross bolt, which locks the trigger. So, to load it or cock it, um, you want to say you only got to load it every 18 BBs, or once every pallet, so, press that lever, which releases that, and this is quite a strong spring, although um, you know, young shooters this was probably good for, that is quite hard to pull back, so you pull that back, and once you've done that you can tilt this barrel up, and in there is where you load in your BBs, or if you're shooting a pellet, you load it in that bottom hole, which is actually quite hard to get at, and like I say, this, this is mainly primarily designed for BBs, they also claim that can shoot darts, so um, that's that. So you feed your BBs in. This has already got some in, but I will just show you the speed loader. Holds 18 BBs, so the idea is you put that up on that little nozzle, squeeze it, and I don't know if you can oh, snap shut, but some of them did roll in there. So that, once you loaded your BBs in, shut that barrel, and then push back all the way in and that's now ready to shoot. Now, so to load it and cock it properly to make sure you get it balling, press that lever so this bit flicks back, pull it right back, tilting it upwards as long as this barrel is pointing upwards so a ball can roll in, push that forward and that's it, you ain't got them worry, you're all ready to shoot. And uh, we're gonna take it to the crony, give it a test with the BBs and then we'll give it a test with a pellet and we've never actually tested this gun as power wise is concerned. Well, something I didn't explain um, on the end of the gun there when I show you the loading mechanism that little bit that tilt up is actually the barrel that is the length of the barrel inch and a half two inches so this little gun is not that accurate um, we're not expecting loads of power and say as we said why the hell would you want one well we'll do the little power test and then we'll just discuss that why, the, why would you want one of these guns so I'm lined up on the crony we're going to do five shots and then we'll do an average foot poundage and feet per second. So take it away, Daz. Shot one. Shot two. Shot three. Shot four. Shot five. So we've got five shots. Five shot string. 0.23 foot pounds. Yes. Average velocity 139 feet per second. Minimum mm. 137. Maximum 143 the deviance of six um, quarter of a foot pound that's what we got on this gun on the crony test so we'll just go um, try pallet huh? okay we're now going to test this gun with a 0.177 pallet um, we, I say we wouldn't recommend to be honest shooting too many pallets for this gun they do claim they can shoot darts as well 
Um, so we've got the grind weight set up in the crony, so we'll just see what sort of foot pounds a pallet will um, give us. There's nothing. nothing red there. Didn't did come I, out. Did it come out? Have a look no. at the barrel. So it's gone down a bit now. Yeah. So this next shot, hopefully, we'll um, get it through. They were perfect in my butt mark. No. No. We didn't have to push that through. Yeah. Okay, guys, we've had to shove that down the end of the barrel. We're now going to give it another try. Yay! Yay. 0.18 foot pound, 99.4 feet per second, and we're not going to try that again. Right. So the, uh, the pallet was literally sitting there yeah, in the barrel. Yeah. Okay, Dennis, thanks for that, and then we'll just round this up. And um, okay, thanks for watching. That was the power test on the G10 pistol. And why the hell would you want one? Well. In these days, it's just just say you got nowhere to shoot. Uh, you're locked down. You in an apartment, a flat, or and you know you're just itching to have a bit of shooting. This is the sort of gun you could shoot indoors. Obviously, be safe. Wear eye protection and all the rest of it. As a short range gun, made for shooting BBs. It's great fun. Well made. Whether the modern ones are as good, I don't know, but great fun gun well made um, quite unique I think that's the G10 repeater BB gun thanks for watching this is Shoot First Productions I'm Nate and we'll be back with more videos soon